Hey guys, welcome back to another video. On Sunday, I believe, I released a video that was a minute and 29 seconds, uh, pretty much showing a revised, redesigned version of my dot files. And uh, I want to go over that with you real quick. I want to go like fully over everything that's kind of changed with it. Uh, first off, the logos are no longer coded to my username. They are now basically in the logo folder and that's where they're seen so if you need to you can just swap them out in bar.qml and dot qml like you can just basically add your own logo into the logo folder and then just change the name it's actually pretty simple uh if i do so say so myself and i know it may not be simple to those of you watching but I'll try to show you here real quick what I mean. So pop a logo in there, okay? And what you would do is you go into modules and you go into bar. You go in here and you open this up. And then you just got to scroll down and find out wherever the logo thing is. And you can do this pretty easily by doing find and typing logo. You know, and then it's the arch logo container as I like to call it. And uh, there it is. All you have to do is just change the name of the PNG or SVG you want to use. And the same thing goes for the dock. Very easy, very simple. Now, let's go over everything else, shall we? First off, the dock icons are no longer hard coded to Tela. You can use Tela, you can use whatever you want, but when you apply, the icon theme, it needs to be done in, sorry, everything keeps popping up on the other side. I need to make it use just one monitor. Uh, in QT6 or QT5, uh, you go here, you apply the icon, you log out, you log back in. Currently, there's no dynamic icon loading that I know of. So this is pretty much the only way. And that will make it so you're able to get things like this done. Pretty cool. It's nice having that happen. There are still issues. Like, uh, one of the issues is that if I wanted the Affinity Designer or Affinity Photo icons on the dock, uh, they're not going to render properly, which is a bit annoying. So, you know, it's like choosing one evil over the other, and this one's honestly the better alternative. Yeah. All right, so when you click here, you may notice there's a complete and utter redesign of the sidebar right. That's what it's called, by the way. And uh, there's a calendar up here, weather here, volume mixer here. Um, we're going to pin this real quick. I'm also going to mute my audio. Not for my microphone, but for everything else. And basically, I'm going to just hit play on my station here. And there it goes. So there's a media player right here. These buttons do not work, and I don't think I'm going to be able to get them to work. Uh, I'll still try, but honestly, I don't really see a point. It's kind of just there for show, you know. I am going to make it so the uh, the image, the album art, takes up the entire thing, or it gets doubled and then blurred in the background. Okay, close that out. So volume mixers changed. Your inputs are up here instead of down here and they're a little more dynamic. They allow me to do this. And one second, we have to go so quick here. So I go to settings and I go to system and turn that off. Thank you. So now that allows me to go up to 100%. It's the dumbest thing I've ever seen added to a config, but there it is. So if we click here, you can now change your inputs here. And same for the microphone. You can turn the microphone and all the way up. You can mute it and unmute it. So that makes life kind of really easy for most people. The weather is now coded by your IP or your geolocation. So it will automatically detect where you are to give you the most realistic weather location possible so as close to you as it can possibly get there are still some minor issues as you can see right here i do still have to fix a few things but it looks great nonetheless i think i'm gonna make this stack so it says moderate 
rain, you know? That should give it more room, and then I'll make this a little bit longer and give that more space. I think that would be nice. Calendars super smushed. Yeah, I gotta fix that. That's just ridiculous. To be fair, I built it on a 1080p display on my laptop instead of a 1440p one, so that's a thing. Another thing is, if you're on a laptop, it will show your battery icon up here. It will tell you when you're plugged in and when you're not plugged in. You will also have monitor uh, brightness control up here using a scroll wheel. I don't want to do it because if I do... Okay, it worked actually really well that time. Wow. Uh, same thing for here. You can turn up, turn down. And same thing for here, up and down. Okay? Makes life really easy. Those are your three indicators, so your volume, your microphone, and your brightness. Figure I'd make life as easy as possible for everybody. And uh, yeah, there's that. So, I was asked if I could make this open up with super key. The answer is no. It refuses. But if you hit Control A, uh, it opens up the menu just fine. Control A is just as good as super key, so uh, that's fine, I guess. And let's go over the settings because I showed it to you. I may as well go over it with you, right? So there it is. Um, all of this is bull, but you are able to turn the weather off and on. You are able to change the amount of spaces, workspaces that you have. Uh, this does not work. This does work, but it just moves the icons out of the way for now. Uh, this is the thing. I'm not sure if this works. I always keep my stuff plugged in. This does not disable or enable the dock. I'm, I need to make this work. Uh, appearance wise, this is going to be removed completely because I disabled fake screen corners because it's the stupidest thing ever. This does not work either. Unless it does and I just don't see it. Oh my God, it does. Oh, that's cool. I did not know that. I guess it works on this one, but it didn't work on my laptop. How weird. I don't know if this works, but yeah, I'm going to just set that to fidelity. Um, light mode. There's no such thing in my config because I don't want it. And other than that, there you go. So when you hit close, if you changed anything, it will automatically save. If it did not, you can just hit save settings and there you go. Now, the choices I made here are, of course, all my own. And if this was your config, I'm sure you would do other things. This is so smushited. It's so smushited. I might actually just cut this in half and just, like, put a to-do list down here. You know, a calendar to-do list where you just right-click on a date and you just set something and then it's there. Might also show lunar cycles and stuff like that and... I don't know. We'll figure something out because this just looks goofy as hell, but it does work. Look. <laughs> oh man. I put a lot of effort and a lot of work into this. I made sure things worked and functioned really well. Again, I'm still not giving support out for this on how to install it. You're on your own on that, but I did update the GitHub with the newest version of this. So you should be good to go. Hopefully, hopefully you're good to go, you know? I am still going to have to make this show on only one monitor because I don't like it when it shows on multi. But uh, for now, I think I'm done with it. I'm very happy with it. And yeah, it makes me happy. So um, I am missing a Bluetooth menu or when you like hover over the Bluetooth, I want like a menu to come down and basically allow me to connect and do stuff. Uh, there are some fixes. Check this out. So the right click menus now work according to where they actually are right clicked, which is nice. So yeah, that makes life really easy to be able to get that done instead of it popping up all the way over here, or all the way over there. It's now directly below where the mouse is. That took a while to fix, by the way, kind of embarrassing, but it did. Because getting mouse coordinates and things like that is a pain in the butt. 
<sighs> now I just gotta test it on Fedora, make sure it works, and if it does, I'm happy. I also changed my theme a bit. As you can see, there's a, a semi-transparent white border around the dock. I think it looks much cleaner. Yeah. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the look at what I've done. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Oh, one more thing. I've added two new buttons, okay, settings and uh, on pin. So pin just keeps it open. And if you don't have pin there, it closes it. Anyway, hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment, do all that funky stuff. Help me out with the algorithm. You really, really, really want to support me. We have membership on the channel. It's cheap, affordable, sign up. You'll end up getting random amounts of videos before everybody else. And uh, if you are a member, and you're in discord you should have a special role yeah so you know let me know about that in a certain channel and i'll apply that for you but you have to show proof you know bye everybody